All right, welcome back viewers. Today in geometry, we have a side angle side um, problem for you uh, with proving triangles similar. So we are going to draw the two triangles, put the information on the triangles, and uh, find the value of n that makes the two triangles similar. Um, just wanted to show you another piece from my um, Thanksgiving 2021 um, collection from the thrift shop. This is North Face, North Face. I mean, <laughs> so awesome. Five ninety nine. All right, let's start. Find the value of n. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead first and draw these two triangles. They tell us that triangle D E F is similar to triangle X Y Z. Shoot, I forgot my amplifier. Oh, well, it's fine. I also forgot my hat. What am I thinking? I can't wait to get my Heritage um, Santa hat in like a few days. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Um, so, triangle DEF is similar to triangle XYZ. So, DEF, XYZ. Good with how we drew those? Okay. Now, let's take the information and put it on the diagram. DE is four. We'll do this in a different color. F is 5, XY is 4 times the quantity N plus 1, so don't forget the parentheses. Oh wait, I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? There's no mouse. XY is 4 times N plus 1. YZ is 7 N minus 1. Angle E is congruent to angle Y. All right, so all we've done is drawn the two triangles and we've taken this information and we've put it on the diagram. Now we can start. So if we know that these two angles are congruent, we're told that. If these two corresponding sets of sides are proportional, if I set 4 over 4n plus 1 equal to 5 over 7n minus 1, and then solve for n, we should make it proportional. Let's do it. Let's see if I have space for that. 4 is to 4 times the quantity in parentheses n plus 1 equal to 5 over 7n minus 1. So now we're going to have to uh, cross multiply. So 4 times 7n minus 1 should equal, 5 times 4 is 20, and then in parentheses n plus 1. How are we doing? How are we doing, America? Thanks for subscribing. Okay. So we could distribute the 4 and the 20. Um, I guess that would probably be the easiest thing to do. I was going to divide both sides by the 4, but let's just go ahead and distribute. We'll just be dealing with bigger numbers. It's fine. running out of room, so I'm going to do two steps in one here. I'm going to subtract 20n from both sides and also add 4. Hope you guys are okay with that. I feel like we know how to solve equations, so we're good. So I'm getting 8n, that's an 8, equals 24. So if I divide both sides by 8, what should the value of n be? Yay! We did it. Then should be three. And we are finished. Thanks guys for subscribing. I think I'm at 264 and want to get to 300 by next Friday. So I can come into your class and sing Mariah's Carey's All I Want for Christmas and my Justin Bieber shirt and my new Heritage Santa hat. It's going to be amazing. All right. Um, that's all. Anyone want to say goodbye to America? <laughs> They're quiet today. 
You guys need lollipops. Come get a lollipop. Okay, peace out.